subscribe to our YouTube channel, Joy Learning TV. Hello, students. Once again, you are welcome to the Senior High R on Joy channel, where we provide quality education to students on vacation. I hope you enjoyed last week's session. We are going to continue where we ended last week. My name is Madam Judith, and when you see me, you should know that it's time for cost accounting. Last week, we looked at overheads. And today we are going to continue from where we ended. So a quick recap before I even continue. Last week we talked about overheads and we mentioned that overheads is the aggregate of all indirect costs, that is indirect material, indirect labor, and indirect expenses. We looked at some of the types of overheads. We had the factory or production overheads, administration overheads, factory, financial overheads, and selling and distribution overheads. I remember we mentioned the stages of overheads too, when we made mention of overheads being collected. And after collecting overheads, we classify them. Then we do what? Allocation and apportionment then we do absorption. We look at some of the basis of apportioning costs to different cost centers. We say when it is a canteen service, the basis of apportionment is going to be what the number of employees. And when it is general administration, it's also going to be what number of employ employees. But when we talk about electricity or electric power, we are going to use the horsepower as what a base of measurement for the overheads. Good. I hope you've all remembered what we did last week. Last week, we took a look at how costs are being allocated to the various cost centers as in a department in an organization. Today, we are going to look at how we are pushing or we are pushing the service cost center overheads to the various departments in an organization. By the end of the lesson, we are all going to learn as, um, how cost centers work, as in we are going to explain cost center. We state the methods of redistribution of the service cost center overheads and then we are pushing the service cost to the production department. Let's begin today's lesson. When we talk about service cost centers, we are saying that they are there to assist production department in the manufacture of the unit. Hence, the costs that have been incurred by such a service department must be charged to the production department. I repeat, cost centers they are not in an organization for themselves, but to assist the production department in the manufacture of the unit. Hence, any costs that have been incurred by the service department has to be charged to the production department. And therefore, any costs that have been incurred, as in we are looking at if there is maintenance service in an organization, whatever cost that was incurred by the maintenance service have to be absorbed by the production department so that at the end of the day, we can tell the amount that have been incurred by such a department. This means that to determine the unit cost, overhead must be what? Spread over both the production and the service department before charging that part of the service department cost to the production department. Okay, so this means that to determine the unit cost, overhead must be spread over both the production departments and the service department before charging that part of the service department cost to the production department. In doing this, we are terming that process that we go through to charge the service department cost to the production department as what? Redistribution. Redistribution. So, the first stage of charging overhead costs 
to both the production department and the service department is what the primary distribution we first have to charge the costs that have been incurred by the department to both the production department and the service department last week we look at how we allocate or apportion costs to the various production departments and the service department this week we are going to look at how we can redistribute the service department costs to the production department as i made mention earlier the service department is not there on its own but to what provide assistance to the production department so any costs that have been incurred by the service department need to be redistributed to the production department so at the end of the day we can know the total costs that have been incurred by the production department so the first stage of charging such a cost to both the production and the service department is what we are terming as the primary distribution and then the reapportioning the reapportioning and then the or redistribution of the service department cost to the production is called the secondary distribution so we first have to reapportion we first have to apportion the cost to both production department and then the service department after doing that we need to reapportion it because the costs that are being carried by the service department it is because of the production department that the service department incurs such a cost so we need to reapportion such costs to the production department and in doing that we are terming it as what the secondary distribution of the overhead costs that have been incurred now there are various methods of redistribution of the service department costs we have the continuous or repeated the continuous or repeated method the simultaneous equation method the simultaneous equation method and then the direct distribution or elimination method but for our lessons today we are going to be looking at the continuous or repeated distribution method the continuous or repeated distribution method so let's look at what continuous distribution method means continuous distribution method of reapportion the service department cost to the production department is a method which we distribute the service cost among all the departments including the service department until they become insignificant here we made mention that we are going to redistribute the service department cost but the definition here is telling us that we distribute the cost center cost among all departments even including the service department here it means the service department provide what reciprocal services to each other so in a company you may have two or more service departments in an organization let's say the maintenance and let's say a clinic services so when i put a clinic car services provide service to the maintenance department and maintenance department also service the clinical department their tools and equipment meaning they both provide reciprocal services to each other so when the costs have been incurred by one service it means when clinical service was providing services to the maintenance service the costs that had been incurred by the clinical a part will be apportioned to the maintenance service they are providing what reciprocal services to each other so in sharing the cost of one service center the other service center will be apportioned an amount we have to do this apportionment before we come and do the reapportionment so the continuous method is telling us that we have to distribute that is repeatedly distribute service cost center cost among all departments including service cost department until it become what insignificant this method is used when service departments rely one another on each other for services or support to produce goods and services so we are going to take a question then we illustrate how to redistribute the service department costs to the various departments in an organization so get your calculators your pens and your notebooks ready 
as we go through it together. So, this is the illustration for today. How to redistribute the service call center overhead among all the departments in an organization, including the service department. So, I read... Joy Limited has two production departments. That is production department one and department two. So P1 represents production department one and P2 represents production department two. And then two service departments for 2020. The following summary of allotted overhead costs is available. So we have the production department one, the costs that have been apportioned to production department one, and the costs that have been apportioned to production department two. And when we look at the service department, be represented by X1 and then X2. That is service department one and then service department two. And we can see the total here that have been allotted to each of the departments. So let's take our book as we go and illustrate how to present it on the overhead analysis sheet. Okay, so if you are ready, let's go through it. Don't forget to write the heading there, overhead analysis sheet for the organization. So we have here overheads. We have overheads here. And then basis of apportionment. Basis of apportionment. Then we have the production department. That's the production department one, production department two, and then under the service department, we have service department one and two. So we have the cost, we have the overheads, which has already been what allotted. So the basis of apportionment is what? allotted now when we look at our question the total that have been apportioned or allotted to the various departments is what we are going to write under the various departments so when we go to department one it's seventy thousand so we indicate here seventy thousand Department 2 was allotted 52,000. So we go back to our table and indicate 52,000. 52,000. Then the question, we look at the service department. Service department 1 was allotted what? 65,000. And then department 2 was allotted 35,000. So we go back to our table and indicates it 65,000 and then 35,000 okay so as you all can see from the table we have allocated the amount that was incurred at the end of the month to the various production department and the service department now, with the reapportionment or the redistribution of the service department, we are saying that this cost that have been incurred, the cost here that have been incurred here by the two service departments, need to be reapportioned to the production department because the service department cost that have been incurred wasn't incurred because of their own self, but because of the production department. So, production department need to bear such a cost. So we have to do what? Redistribute the service department cost to the production department. Now, the second part of the question is telling us that for us to share the service department cost, these are the bases that we are supposed to use basing on the continuous or repeated method. So the percentage here is the proportion of how we are going to redistribute the service department cost to the production department. So then when we are sharing service department one cost, 
This is the percentages that will go to the various departments. So 30% will go to production department 1. 45 will go to production department 2. And then because we are sharing service department 1 course, nothing goes to service department 1. And then 25% will go to service department 2. Because as I mentioned earlier, they provide what reciprocal services to each other or they rely on each other. So when we are, it means that all the costs that was incurred by service department 1, service department 2 did what benefited. So if you are going to reapportion service department 1 cost, 25% will be apportioned to the service department 2. Service department 2. And when we are redistributing service department 2, 50% will go to production department 1. 30% will go to production department 2, and then 20 will go to service department 1. You can see that that share because we are sharing that particular department cost, and nothing will have to go back to that department. So then, with these percentages in mind, let's go back to our table and work it out. So when we take service department 1, we are going to reapportion it. So we write here under the overheads, reapportionment, reapportionment of service department one. So I will present to it S1 as we have already indicated. S1 will be for service department one. And the base of apportionment is we are what have been given to us. We are going to base on the percentage. It's not like the first one that we are going to use probably um, insurance of machines and it will be the value of the machine. Here we've been given a proportion. So we are going to base on the proportion to reapportion the service department cost to the various departments in the manufacturing industry. So when we take service department one, the proportion to reapportion the cost is what? 30 is to 45 is to 25 which will sum up to 100. So when we come here, our base of apportionment is 30 is to 45 is to 25. You should know that the 25 is for service department 2 because definitely we are sharing the service department 1 course to the various departments. So nothing goes to service department 1. So let's work it out on our plain sheets here. If you are going to reapportion service department um, one cost, the basis for production department one, service department one, so production department one is receiving what 30% of the 100% multiplied by the total of service department, which is the 65,000. Get your calculators ready and let's all do it together. So 30%, 30 divided by 100 times the 65,000 will give us 19,500. And then production department 2, the percentage that was apportioned to it is 45%. So 45 over the 100% times the 65,000. Let's your calculators. Let's all do it together. So we have 45 divided by 100. 45 divided by 100 times 65,000, which will give us 29,250. And then, as I mentioned earlier, Service Department 2 benefits from some services of Service Department 1. So it was what? Given a proportion of 25%. So 25 